Hi, I'm Ron Halebritter, technical advisor for Legendary Auto Interiors, and I'd like to welcome you to Legendary Studio, where today we're going to show you the proper way to prepare your factory seat frame to accept Legendary's hottest new product, the Rally Seat Kit. Now that seat kit includes a new set of seat covers and a new foam kit, passenger side and driver, top and bottom, with the new raised up bolsters here. It includes our seat installation kit, which has new muslin, new burlap, new listing wire that's paper coated, new two inch felt, and a dust mask. And the kit also includes the protective stretch panel board kit, which we'll show you how to install during our seat cover installation. Now, it's a good idea to have some general spray trim adhesive found at your local auto parts store, which is not included with the kit. Now together with Randy Brown, we're going to show you why Legendary Auto Interiors is number one with collectors, restorers, and enthusiasts worldwide. Now you'll be able to use this video as a guideline for preparing your 1966 through 1972 GM A-body seat frame. So let's get started. Our first step will be to put a layer of burlap over the top of the seat springs. You want to start with the rear portion and then move to the front edge, pulling some tension, making sure the burlap is tight all the way across the seat springs. You want to cut a small notch in the back sections of the burlap so the burlap does not buckle. You want the burlap to lay absolutely flat. You want to finish up by attaching the sides with hog rings, spacing them out about every three to four inches apart. Our next step will be to attach the two inch felt around the outside perimeter edge of the seat springs. Now you want to make sure that that two inch felt rides along the top edge and the bottom edge of the seat springs. Now you want to angle your hog rings down and inwards towards the center of the seat. Our next step will be to find the center point of the seat on the front edge and the back edge. You want to draw a line down the center of the uh, burlap where our center mark is. Now we want to measure over seven inches from the center line and draw another line. This is going to be our insert width. You should have a total insert width of 14 inches. This is where we're going to attach our paper coated listing wire. Now the paper coated listing wire needs to be bent at a 90 degree angle on both ends. This will prevent the listing wire from traveling front to back on our front seat bottom. Now on the front edge, you want to make sure that that is also bent at a 90 degree angle and tucked underneath the two inch felt and then secured with a hog ring around the two inch felt and around the paper coated listing wire front. This will keep our listing wire secure. Now you want to attach the listing wire with five hog rings on each side and then two on the very ends for a total of seven hog rings per paper coated listing wire on each side. You want to repeat the process on the opposite side anchoring the rear portion and then anchoring the front portion underneath the two inch felt. And again anchoring at both edges and then putting five hog rings down through the paper coated listing wire around the burlap and around the portion of the seat springs. This is a very important step to achieve the correct look for the rally seat. You need to have that recessed look very consistent and not buckled. You need to have five hog rings per paper coated listing wire to achieve the correct look. Our next step will be to cut down through the channels of the foam. Be sure not to cut any longer than the channels in the foam. You'll see Randy's using a foam saw. You can use a razor blade, a pair of scissors, or mom's carving knife to achieve the same goal. Our next step will be to set the foam on top of the seat springs and anchor it through the muslin and around the seat springs. Now you'll know when you have the foam installed correctly when you can look down through the channels that you cut and you can see the listing wire we previously attached. Now that our front seat bottom is ready for seat cover installation, it's time to move on to our front seat top. And our first step, as we did with our front seat bottom, is to attach a layer of burlap 
over the entire face of the seed springs. You want to space the hog rings out about every two to three inches apart. Unlike the front seat bottom, the front seat top does not require the two inch felt around the perimeter. Now you want to be sure to stretch the burlap nice and tight top to bottom and side to side. And make sure to angle your hog rings down and inwards towards the center of the seat so it doesn't damage your seat cover during your seat cover installation. Our next step is to find our center line. We do that by measuring the width of the seat frame and dividing that by two and making a line down the center of the seat frame. Now we want to measure out from our centers seven inches, which will give us a 14 inch width on our insert section. Now this is the area where we're going to attach our paper coated listing wire. Now this is going to give us that three dimensional look on our seat cover during our seat cover installation. Our paper coated listing wire will need a 90 degree bend on the top edge and the bottom edge. Now we want to secure this along the bottom edge of the seat springs and the top edge of the seat springs. The 90 degree bend will prevent that from traveling top to bottom during our seat cover installation. Now along the edge you want to attach a minimum of five hog rings. Five hog rings is best to use because this will keep that area secure during our seat cover installation and give you the proper three-dimensional look during our seat cover installation. We want to repeat the process on the opposite side. Now that our muslin is attached to our foam, we want to cut all the way down through the molded channels that are in the foam. You want to be careful not to cut any longer than the pre-made molded channel. You'll see Randy's using a foam saw, but you can use a razor blade, pair of scissors, or mom's old carving knife. Our next step will be to set the molded foam on top of our seat frame, wrap the muslin over the edge of the seat springs, and hog ring it into place. Now you want to go through the muslin and around the seat frame area. You want to be careful to angle the hog rings down and inward towards the center of the seat so the hog rings don't damage your molded foam or your seat cover during your seat cover installation. Now that both the top and bottom edge is secured, we can move along to our corners and our side edges. Our corners, we want to fold over the edge, creating a nice smooth edge so that you don't see any wrinkles on your seat cover. We want to repeat the process on the opposite side. Now, if you want to have the professionals at Legendary Auto Interiors do the work for you, give us a call at 1-800-363-8804. Now that our molded foam is attached, it's a good idea to peek down through where you made your listing cuts to see if you can see the listing wire. Well, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. You can see the rally foam is all installed onto our factory seat frame. You notice the high raised bolsters give us that sport look and it keeps you locked into your seat. For other tips on how to install the seat covers for this application, access our website at www.legendaryautointeriors.com or give us a call at one 800 363-8804 for all your installation tips. For Legendary Auto Interiors, I'm Ron Halbritter. We'll see you next time.